one of my subscriber who used to be a high school student sent me this particular slide and said that uh, if you can see sir this is too much text and i want to convert this to a good looking uh, slide so i said okay let me just help you out in this one if you can see here the topic is the generic topic which is the environment degradation and its impact on the vegetation so by going through this slide, uh, I have just read that, okay, uh, what is the environment degradation and what are the causes of it for the impact on the vegetation. So I have converted this slide, something from this to this. We can see here I've added the image and I've given environmental uh, degradation, uh, a, a good image in the background. And then when I click, it will show the first point which says the trees have been felled for the timber. And then the second point I have used trees cut for constructions of buildings, etc. with the relevant icons. And then I have used this as for the fuel for the domestic and industrial purpose. And then the last one, it is the forests are cleared for settlement and the cultivation. So if you can see here the slide which looks something like this to something like this. So it is very, very important as a student or as a teacher to convey the right message, which should be very easy to understand and conveys the right message to the audience. So you can see here how I converted the slide, something which is only the text to something which looks something like this. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle maybe this much size then shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to edit this shape for that right mouse click click on edit points you can see here four points so i'm going to select the top right corner select that one and you can see here two small square i'm just going to drag this square you can see here outside and then i'm going to select the bottom right and then i'm going to drag this inside so you end up getting with this shape now i'm going to insert an image uh, in this particular uh, shape for that go to the unsplash.com you can see here so i'm talking about the deforestation so i've just typed the timber here so you've got a variety of images you can see here you can select any image and download it to your pc and once you download to your PC, go here, right mouse click, go to format shape and fill, select picture or texture fill, click on insert and click from a file to select the file which you have just downloaded. So you can see here I have downloaded this image and then you can just go down and sometimes it will show the photo upside down. So you have to just go and untick this one, rotate with shape, just untick this one if the photo is upside down. Then I'm going to add one more shape for that. Let me just select this shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and go here to fill and I'm going to select a solid fill and change the color, any color of your choice, maybe this and let me just select this and go to format send this to back you can see here and then make it maybe this much i can just keep it yeah and then you can add your heading here go to insert text box and you can just say environment degradation and then just put it here make sure the font is visible make it white you can give some shadow effect and i'm going to select the font uh, century gothic or whichever font which you like you can see here make it bold increase the size you can see here and then just keep it here then if you see here i'm just going to see what are the points which uh, makes this uh, the impact on the vegetation like its trees have been felled for the timber for use in constructions and buildings and furnitures fuel for domestic and industrial purpose and the forests are cleared for settlement and cultivation so i'm just going to take this one i'm, I'm going to take the key points out of this one so for that I'm going to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. You can see here, maybe this much size, you can keep it. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to give the same color. Press Ctrl D to duplicate 
reduce the size you can see here and give it as a white fill and bring it here on the top of it and if you want you can just give some shadow effect also maybe you can go to shadow and give some shadow effect now when we are talking about the first point i said trees have been felled so i'm going to use the icon tree so just go to insert icons if you don't have the icons you can use the text also there so let me just type a tree here so you can see here i'm just going to select this tree and insert and then i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here and you can just put it here and let me just go to this one and i'm just going to take only this point control c right mouse click i'm going to just select the keep text only and here i'm going to change the font to century gothic if you want you can make it bold increase the size so you can see here this is my first point now it's easy for me i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to drag this one here now we are talking about the second point we can say that uh, construction buildings and ships so what i can do is let me just delete this go to insert icons and i can just select construction you can see here constructions or i can just select maybe house i can just select any house here and just insert you can see here and again reduce the size then i'm going to select this one and i will say construction buildings and furniture tools etc so i'm just going to copy this and let me just delete this i don't need paste it you can see here i can just change a little bit for use in construction buildings and ships so whatever you want you can just select that same format i'm going to give it here and make sure that it is not going outside of the slide area so this is my second point you can see here so uh, it is very important how you uh, understand the slide and how you convert it so and then the third is for the fuel for the domestic and the industrial purpose so again i'm just going to maybe i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to add it here and here i'm going to insert icons and you can just see here maybe i'm just going to select the fire you can see here this one i can select this and click insert again reduce the size you can see here and then i'm going here and i'm just going to select fuel for domestic and industrial purposes Control c bring it here right mouse click select the keep text only and then i'm going to use this format painter click on this you can see here make it a caps and then the last one which is i'm going to use for the forest are clear for settlement and cultivation so i'm just going to select this this is my last point sorry i'm going to select this control d and let me just delete this go to insert maybe i'm just going to say cut i can see here i can use maybe this icon and again reduce the size put it here and then i can then simply copy this and paste it here as usual again i'm going to select this and and make sure that it is properly aligned so you can see here if you see the slide which you have used to explain the impact of vegetation on the vegetation i have just converted the slide into something looking like this and you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned and and uh, it is uh, very neat looking and it is easy to understand and it's easy to convey your message also and the last thing if required you can add some uh, little animation to it also for this i can do one thing i'm just going to select the red circle here can you see here first of all go to the animations enable the animation pane so i'm just selecting the first circle the red circle only not the white circle go to add animation 
more entrance effect i'm just going to select the basic zoom so it comes something like this you can see here and then i'm just going to select the white circle and this also maybe i'm going to give a uh, the same basic zoom okay it can be happened with previous or after previous whichever example if i play it comes something like this or if you want you can have this one from out also you can see here in slightly so whatever way you want you can just do it and then this one again the same thing i'm going to use it and i'm going to use the basic zoom and i will just say out and this should happen after previous let me just play so it comes something like this and then here you can give some a wipe effect wipe effect just say from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it looks something like this can you see here let me just play so now the same thing using the animation painter you can simply copy i'm going to select this one animation painter select this one then i'm going to select the white and click on the white and then i'm going to select the icon animation painter click on the second option then the text you can see here i'm just going to simply copy this so if i play it comes something like this so it's so simple and you can easily attract uh, the audience for this one and you can impress your teacher also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye